Hey there guys, welcome back. Let's uh, just carry on exactly where we left off. It's been a while since the last video, but uh, I'm picking up with the same save file and the completion of the previous season means that we're pretty much ready to get going with the manned programs. So, how are things going? Uh, opened some programs last time if you remember, the Luna 2 and the Sputnik 2. Uh, ooh, random event. Extra prestige. Very nice. Okay, so lots of things completed that time. Um, but what we need to do to straight off begin is hire some new mission controllers because the manned program needs a lot more. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for people with good general skills, 40s across the board, 50s across the board, or people who shine, maybe they've got a 60 or a 70 on one area that I can tank. Uh, this, he's not so good but he's got some 50s, the 30s can train up pretty quickly. So, yeah, why not? It's a good mix of people. Um, they're going to take a few seasons to get ready with their basic training. I'm not exactly ready to launch the manned missions right now. But the two things should come together pretty much at the same time. So let's go ahead and hire them. And check out our cosmonauts. We need a few more, I think, because you need to have one in the mission control. You need to have one hired for the mission, if it's a one-person capsule. I need to have one on standby, I believe that's how it works. Okay, trainings are still going on with the rest of the astronauts, let's just leave them. Uh, anybody not being used for anything? No, so okay. Let's check the progress of our programs. Uh, trying to get back into the UI, it's not the most intuitive thing, but it's not terrible. Nine flight controllers, so we can't schedule that one right now. Hmm. Uh, yeah, um, they're all on training, that's the problem. Or they're being on basic training, which is even worse. So, Luna 2, can we launch that? Need to put the rocket on it, which will be the Molnir rocket. Uh, okay, big penalty. Big penalty because we've not done some previous components, okay. So we're getting a penalty because we haven't done a flyby mission. That's strange. I think the way that they've scheduled the tree in this is that you need to have completed Luna 3 before you attempt Luna 2. Which is, well, not chronological and doesn't make sense. But anyway, end of the season. 5% progress, not bad at this stage in the program. 10% fantastic. So we have lots of engineers who've graduated from basic training. Maybe we can... Hmm. Not sure what to do with them yet. We could put them into a research program or we could train them up a bit more. And I'm at a loss for what to do at the moment. Um, let's see. See, we've got really good people working on these, but we could throw a few more in, I guess, because 10% a day is fantastic, but, you know, we can get every little bit... Okay, that's, that's equated to one extra percent a day by putting two more people on it. Not, not incredibly efficient, to be honest, but... Um, check out the... Which one is it? Vostok, yes. Oh, it's already open. What? Ah, okay, you can only access it through here. Again, intuitive UI, not so much. So some more 50s. 1% improvement a day. Because we're already at 87, so that's not an issue, but 1% improvement will be a bonus, I guess. And everybody else, you can go in for training. Um, you're not great, you've got a few loss areas. Let's EVA spacesuits. I don't think I've got anybody that I'm planning for that, so you could start on that and then you'll be ready for the Voshkod missions. So currently no missions in progress. I want to launch something. It's been a while. Um, astronauts are all still on training. 
Can't hire any more this season. It's going to have to end. Okay. Yeah, that's the extra 1.4%. That's not as high as I would like it. Um, we might have to launch with it like that. 12%. Okay. That's more than I expected. So, flight controllers are ready. Astronauts are ready. Let's see if we can launch this. Ooh. The this should also, because it's a probe, provide extra research for the manned mission. We don't need the surgeon or the Capcom because there's no people. The rest of it should be as it is for an actual mission. A bit worried about forties. Um forties is very low and systems and network are called up quite a lot during the emergency issues. See if we can um, rejig this a bit. <sighs> no, actually, it seems no. Let's get rid of these people. Um, environmentals, that's quite high. We can get rid of that. Because some of them I would be prepared to take a little bit lower. Nope, let's give them exactly the same. Well, you know, it's just a uh, precaution to the wind. And who's not in a mission? You're not in a mission, so let's see. You are terrible. So you, let's try and put a few more people in systems, because it seems to be that's what I'm lacking. Yeah, and you're all 20s, so that's really bad. Okay. End season. Oh, before the astronauts were ready, weren't they? So the astronauts are ready. But I want them to be ready next season for the manned mission, so I'm not going to send them on any training yet, because that's quite a long time. So, let's see how we do. Corable Sputnik. A lot of preparation time. Come on, guys. Oh, be Jesus, this is a long time for just some JPEGs. Okay. Start. Successful launch preparations. I'm not too worried about the launch because the rocket's quite developed and I've got an 80% booster technician. But as you can see on the left, these are all the systems that are being checked for this stage, so... Launch success. The ascent is successful, I guess. I didn't see it say it, but it's successful. Spacecraft deployment. And here we have our Vostok in orbit. So now retrofire. Jettisoning, re-entry. Oh, we have a check here. Oh dear. 46%. Uh, what was that? That was in the network. As you can see on the left, it's flashing. Mission failure, guys. So we've lost 5% progress. Oh no. And the Americans... Uh, what's that? The X-15. Okay. Well, they're not going for their money to space yet, but the X-15's pretty close. Yes. Oh my god. So a lot of training, guys, because you're all shit. Well, you're not too bad. Um, so, let's bring up your average. Yeah. See, why aren't you on systems? You've got like 80%, but I guess your average was better, so you were in mission control for the uh, launch control. Oh, what do I mean? Mission control, that's it. So, 
So yeah, at the moment I'm just trying to boost up the the lacking numbers because the, it seems like the auto deploy for the mission controllers it just puts the highest number in and doesn't pay attention to oh maybe a 70 would be as good as an 80 and then it would free up this guy for something that isn't having to be crewed by a 30% skill person so let's check out our lunar probes it seems we need to do lunar 3 before we do lunar 2 but I have not got that open because I thought, well, numbers work like numbers, but they don't here. Um, hmm. See, I might want to just give this a go. 73% current reliability. 5% improvement next season. Well, it's going to improve next season, whatever. So it'll be whatever I have plus 5%. So let's go ahead and do it, because it should take it above 80. Uh, yeah, you're not too great. You're great. See if the switch around will help. Not particularly. Not particularly at all. Okay. Yeah, systems. I've got a big gap in systems. 50, 44. Well, the average will be a bit better. The boosters is what's worrying me now, but uh, it seemed to work alright last time. I might have made a terrible decision there, but let's uh, go ahead and end the season. And, okay, 78%. It's not the 80 threshold, but uh, that's that's still above 80, so I haven't suffered too much on that. So I should be good to launch next season with that. Let's go ahead with Luna 2. A bit worried about the penalties. I don't think that should be as legitimate, but... It's actually easier to hit the moon than it is to fly past where you want it. It's easier to just fly past it in any which way, but if you have a specific objective, it's quite difficult to get that timed right. Smacking the thing, that's fairly easy. Oh my god, already? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's terrible. So, with my cat now in the room, and this disaster just having happened, Let's, uh, let's continue. Oh, well, at least they got some experience out of it, I guess. It's a lot of money to spend, though, for just a little bit of experience. Oh, well, okay. Researchers, I need more researchers in crude. No, yeah, manned rocket. Manned rocket, because uh, this one won't get us to the moon, so we're going to have to start thinking long term about that. Um, I don't think I'm going to use you on the next mission, but I can start prepping you for the future. So let's end this season, let things recover a bit. I might want to expand my headquarters, what does that do? New programs. Hello, cat. Uh, yeah, new programs. Which would be good, because I could get the Luna 3 going. See, and there's also, do I want to spend the cash? Hmm. Well, I would like some more mission controllers, but the fact is, the ones I've got now can't do shit, so... Might as well train them up. There's a chance that, you know, rolling the dice, you could get a nice new recruit, but probably not. So... Let's see. Vostok, are you ready to go? Uh, let's see. I have to do a man unmanned mission first, which I could try. 
Unmanned, of course, you don't need to search another Capcom again. Oh, there's some good numbers there. I think the training has paid off for at least some people. There's some good numbers there. Let's let's try this. Okay. Well, as you can see, a little bit more optimistic. And the ones who aren't, you can go into training. New mission control, because you got quite a good average. Use spacecraft systems. If you can hear my cat in the background, yeah, she's had a stomach infection the past few days, so she wants a lot of attention. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's the trainings organised. End this season. Oh, we have one person freely available. Check, didn't check the second page. Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're reliable. You're reliable. You're okay. I think all these three missions, in terms of tech, are good. It's just are the mission controllers good enough to cope with it? So this is a suborbital mission. Shouldn't be too complicated. As long as we don't explode it on the launch pad again. Countdown, success, and if anybody's been watching SpaceX recently, you know, the countdown can be the most annoying part. So, launch success. Well done, booster guy, you've earned your money. So, from what we saw last time, this bit, oopsie, okay, there's a check, is above 50%. Systems normally it doesn't always work if it's above fifty percent, um, but let's say it's better than below fifty percent. So the issue last time was the re-entry, um, and we're at that stage now. So re-entry, we're up there, and it, that was a success. So let's. Ah, okay, that's cool. It's got the, uh, the uh, Ivan Ivanovich, uh, which was basically a crash test dummy that they launched on one of the things. It, you know, led to conspiracy theories. Maybe he died, his parachute didn't open, it was a real cosmonaut, that kind of thing. Okay, so we got back some of the prestige we've lost recently. And we've got a crew badge for that. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time.